Hey, what's up you guys? This is Sentai22 here. How you guys all doing? Um, I finally reviewing a action figure for once. I apologize for the lack of toy reviews. I have to say I've been on my retro gaming binge for these last couple of weeks. So I'm trying to balance out my other hobbies as much as possible. Namely, Tokuzatsu, anime, you know, and all that stuff. Um, but yeah. Today I'm going to check out the SH Fig Arts Trunks. Now, this was made for the sake of the fans of Dragon Ball Z, so I have to applaud for you guys because if it wasn't for you, I don't think we will be able to have a Super Saiyan Trunks figure. This was actually a Tamashi Nations poll, or Bluefin poll, I can't remember, but you know, it was by popular demand that we actually got this figure to get a release so thank you guys thank you very much and before I start uh, I just wanna say guys no I'm not selling my SH Fig Art Super Saiyan Goku I've seen the prices on eBay they're going up like crazy I'm not trading Goku so forget it I mean I can understand I mean I, I, I've been to that position where certain Fig Arts are out of production and you know and the that certain figure will cost a lot when it's out of production so don't worry guys I'm sure that Bluefin has something cooked up its sleeve they'll probably do a re-release uh, probably a better re-release than the Super Saiyan Goku because if you think about it Goku doesn't have the regular headpiece it's just the Super Saiyan headpiece in this version, you have Trunks with his regular head and his Super Saiyan head. I wish they could have done that with uh, Goku and Vegeta and 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 uh, Gohan. Unfortunately, they didn't. But thankfully, uh, Trunks has both heads, the regular and the Super Saiyan. So, don't worry, guys. I'm sure that they'll have something cooked up. If you want, go to uh, their Facebook page, Tamashi Nations, and tell them that you want a re-release, or at least a better re-release of Goku Super Saiyan. If you look at the figure, as you can see, it is very nice, and it's mostly US-like packaging, as you can see. This is not a Tamashi web exclusive, this is actually a Tamashi USA exclusive, so take that, Japan, we have an exclusive, haha! -ha. I'm just kidding, you guys will get this eventually. I wish we can get exclusives too, like Kamen Rider and Super Sentai. So, as you can see, you have all of the head pieces, as well as uh, facial features of Trunks as well. Different face expressions, pretty cool. And of course, you have the uh, sword holster there too, really nice. So, of course, you have the uh, Trunks doing some nice uh, poses. As you can see, he's transforming to Super Saiyan. And of course he has his sword, probably slashing Freezer right about now. And of course you have regular trunks there in his regular mode. And if you look very closely you have the uh, bio in English, kind of surprising. It says here, uh, Trunks is the son of Vegeta and Bulma, thus making him a super Saiyan, making him a Saiyan and a human hybrid. He travels to the past by time machine to prevent the future annihilation of planet Earth. Upon arrival, Trunks transforms into a Super Saiyan, defeating Frieza and King Cole and King Cole with ease. And I have to say, one of the best episodes of all time. I mean, when I saw this character for the first time, I was like, whoa. I mean, this guy could definitely be Goku. And the way that he just beat Frieza was just, it was just incredible. Now, this was a Spanish dub of this of the, this episode because at that time, I believe Cartoon Network was airing the Garlic Jr. saga, and I wasn't interested in that saga. But thankfully, a Spanish uh, affiliate in New York actually aired the Spanish dub of Dragon Ball Z to the to this uh, Dragon Ball Z, and I saw. Uh, trunks and I was like wow um, and I didn't really believe that Ve this was Vegeta and Bulma's son because you know when I was in school I didn't think that you know Bulma and Vegeta could hook up but then I realized the uh, the hair and I was like Bulma's father Mr. Brief so it's like okay now that makes sense so yeah 
All right, now I'm about to open the packaging, so here we go. All right, now I just opened the packaging, and here he is. Regular trunks, as you can see, very nice. Very nice face sculpting there, very cool, as well as his uh, little coat here. You can definitely see the zipper there, very nice. Of course, you have the capsule court logo there. A little bit fuzzy though, but I kind of wish they would have uh, just added a sticker though. Then again, it wouldn't be such a good idea, but oh, it's okay, it's not that bad. Um, got the uh, belts here, belts for hooking up the holster and the regular belts where he just tights his pants. Of course, he has his very cool boots there, very nice. Now, in terms of articulation, um, his arms move pretty nicely. Same with his elbows. Got, uh, well, not really. He can't have a 360 head articulation, unfortunately, because his uh, coat prevents that. Very good knee articulation. Same goes for the feet, although there was some problems trying to get him to stand up in a certain way, but you know, once you get the alignment right, he's a pretty cool figure. Now, let me show you guys the accessories that the SH Fig Arts Trunks has. Try to stand him up right away, as I mentioned. Um, it's very difficult, well it's not really that difficult for him to, you know, stand up, but and once you get the alignment right, it's good. You have three different uh, facial features, three different facial expressions of regular trunks, and three, uh, actually four, uh, facial expressions of Super Saiyan trunks. Of course, you have your open hands, you have your fists, so I'm going to show you guys the familiar Super Saiyan head and of course you have a regular sword and a see here this is not really a sword this is mostly a display piece because unfortunately I guess they couldn't put the actual sword in there so I'll show you guys the Super Saiyan trunks very nice I like this pose I like when trunks blasted King Cole in his single hand blast I would have, I wish I could have done the, um, it was when he slashed Frieza, but I don't have a Tamashi web stand for that though, so. All in all, uh, I have to say, next to Kamen Rider SH Fig Arts Ixa, this is probably one of the best SH Fig Arts ever made. Um, again, the only downside is, you know, the standing issue, but don't worry, once you get the alignment right, you're good to go. Okay, since I reviewed the Trunks Time Machine not too long ago, you're probably wondering, does the SH Fig Arts fit in the Time Machine toy? So let's find out. Let me take out the Trunks Time Machine out of the shelf. I apologize, that's my door making that noise. So you can see, there it is. Let's take out the trunks that came with it. So you can see it's almost kind of the same size there, so. Alright, the moment of truth. And yeah, he does. <laughs> he does fit. Um, I mean, he's a little bit too big for the time machine but you can uh, uh, you can fold his legs so he can be a little smaller though just as let me just adjust his legs to give a better idea I 
There we go. There we go. So yeah, he does fit. Um, there's this place that has like four or five of them if you want. I can get them for you, but it'll have to cost you, of course. So if you want, just let me know and I can get it for you. I think they only have one left of, of these uh, Time Machine toys. So this is Sentai22 and uh, thanks for watching.